again, busy professionals, and welcome to episode eight of KTBR in the days of COVID-19. And you probably already know that KTBR stands for Keep the Business Running. And my name is Gretchen Asher, and I have been a change management consultant for nearly three decades. Uh, and for the last decade, I have predominantly been leading change management teams to execute on key business projects remotely, where I've just been based in the United States and they have been executing on projects for my clients uh, across the globe. So I thought this might be a good time for me to share some of my tips and tricks that I've learned over the past decade of managing teams remotely, uh, since we are all working remotely now. And today's episode is how to avoid burnout. And I've got five key tips for how to avoid burnout uh, while working remotely. So you've got a lot on your plate. Kids are home. Your, your significant other is home. Everybody's home. You might be looking after your um, elderly parents. Uh, you're trying to balance your life. You're trying to keep positive. There's just a ton going on right now. So burnout is really a very high risk for people. So five things that you can do to help avoid burnout. Number one, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Get your schedule worked out and separate your work life and your family life. It is, especially if you're not accustomed to working remotely, it, it is so easy to fall into always being available because your computer is there. Uh, so make sure you set boundaries um, and make sure you have your work calendar up to date so people know exactly when you're online and when you're not online. And, um, you know, of course, there are always emergencies, but obviously, if there is, you will have had with your team, you will have set up what to do in case of an emergency. And it will likely be you get a phone call, you get a text message. Um, second tip on avoiding burnout is prioritize your wellness, your mental and your physical wellness during this heavy stress time. Um, make time for your health. Uh, if you're not going outside because of shelter in place, um, run the stairs several times a day. It just gets your blood going. It gets your heart rate up a little bit. Uh, I love free YouTube vi workout videos. Those are great. You can do 10 minutes or you can do 40 minutes. So find some workouts on YouTube that you like to do. Have them kind of queued up and ready on your TV so that you can easily access them. Um, another great idea is throughout the day, take a break and turn on one of your favorite songs loudly and dance and just move and boogie and have a great time. And songs usually last, you know, two to three minutes. So do that numerous times a day when you need a stretch break, do a dance break instead. Um, oh, eat healthy. Yep. Yeah, I was just making sure I didn't miss a note. Um, make sure you have healthy snacks in your house uh, so that you fuel your body with good nutrition because when we eat junk, then we tend to feel like junk. Um, tip three, negotiate with others in your household uh, so that the, the household work is spread out among everyone. And even, even small kids can pick up after themselves and put their toys away in a trunk. So make sure you negotiate all your household chores uh, with everyone else that's staying at home. Tip four, use your non-commute time. You're not driving to the office anymore, so it might be great to use that normal commute time in the morning and in the afternoon as a way to kind of get ready for your day in the morning and kind of mentally, emotionally let go of your work day after you're done with meetings and done with work use the time that you would normally be commuting to do something just for you. Meditate, um, do some personal reading. Maybe you're a writer and you haven't written for a long time. Maybe you like to do a bit of sketching and drawing, but do something just for you uh, to really take care of you. And fifth point, laugh, laugh. Turn off the news. Uh, there's a lot of scary news still out there. Instead, make it make an effort to 
see things, funny movie, funny show, uh, funny something that makes you laugh. Because I just did some research on what laughter does. So let me just read these to you. It lowers blood pressure. It reduces stress level hormones. It impacts cardiac health in a good way. It boosts T cells that help fight off sickness. Woohoo, we want that. And it gives you a general sense of well being. And bonus, laughter works your abs. So you might not have to do a lot of planking if you're doing a lot of laughing. And uh, funny, my husband and I just were in the mood not too long ago for a funny movie. And oh, I don't know if I should actually admit this on video. Yeah, we rewatched Romy and Michelle, <laughs> the movie Romy and Michelle. Uh, I think we found it on Netflix. <laughs> we laughed all the way through, so it was it was a fun watch. All right, that's it for my tips. You'll see them here at the end. If anyone has any questions, you can hit me uh, questions in the description box below. And I am happy to answer any questions you want. Uh, if you want to ask me some questions anonymously, I will answer them in a future video. And until next time, everybody, stay safe. I am the Change Whisperer.